you guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about why you should stay motivated. Stay absolutely freaking motivated when I'm making YouTube videos. Now, uh, personally, I've been losing, I've been losing a little bit, you know, when you start running out of ideas, you start getting to this point where it's like, ugh, I don't want to make the same stuff over again, and I don't really have, I don't really have the time to make new things, I don't have, you know, this creative ability. So, uh, mostly what I do stay motivated I, I got a list here so we're just gonna go ahead and go through that yeah also writing stuff down for YouTube instead of just like typing in personally for me way better so my first point I'm gonna throw out there is a lot of people will say hey you're not going anywhere fast you should stop but that's mostly because a lot of people a lot of people can easily get to 100 subscribers and they're just like I'm at a hundred nothing's happening and then they just stop it's just right there they're done they're like ah i'm not going anywhere faster after this and they they think they think it's gonna be easy you know it's an easy grind they're like oh well no. i can get to 100 i can get to half a million half a billion but no you gotta you gotta you gotta work the grind you gotta know the toughness of it you can't just be like yeah people give me give me your viewership give me your suggestions you gotta you gotta work on the grind so don't listen to parents or others maybe commenters are saying commenters say oh your stuff's terrible quit or your parents are like oh you should worry about other things i mean if you've got the time do it do it it's, it's i mean if it's your hobby then you do you man you do you now obviously if it interferes with life, like you say, oh, sorry guys, I can't go hang out tonight because I gotta work on YouTube, obviously you should never do that. Because YouTube should be at the bottom of your list to do. Or say if it's interfering with your college, your high school, middle school, wherever you're at, if it's interfering with school, definitely school should come first always. Unless, you know, or PewDiePie, don't, don't mess with your life goals. You know, if, you, if, if YouTube's not your goal, the, and... Even if it is your goal, make sure you still get schoolwork done because the school, there's always going to be a need for people with degrees and saying, oh, I do YouTube doesn't really, doesn't really cut it in the real world, sadly. My second point now is going to be writing out your ideas. I do this a ton. I have a whiteboard right next to my setup where I have all my ideas. At the top, it's like, oh, people I want to collab with, things I want to collab with them doing. In the middle, I have just ideas, just video ideas. Like right now, I have, uh, this is one of them. I have one called Problems with YouTube, but then this one's obviously more of motivation just for myself. Um, and then it's like this week, work on this, this, this. I have three bullet points. One says thumbnails, branching out and edits. Uh, and then I got other ideas that are kind of circled off into series I want to try doing. So also, I mean, I have listed out everything I want to talk about in this video. And I don't go into detail, so I read a little bit of it. You know, it says right here, physically write ideas. And then I have like a little thumbs up drawing. And that gives me enough to remember, oh, I know what I want to say here, here, and here. So that's why I do the amazingness that is writing. Uh, another way to stay highly motivated on YouTube is don't make videos that you don't want to make. And I know this sounds like a no-duh sort of thing, but a lot of people are stuck in a situation where they make videos because it works well for their subscriber base. Which can, can you know, you know, say, hey, I make videos that I like and people like to watch them instead of where I'm talking about. People make videos that they're like, the same video every time they get bored after it but people people watch it you know it, it's that sort of thing where it's do something you're good at unless you don't like doing it then don't do it so essentially what i'm saying is you do you fam you do you and i personally say that is because you start to lose creativity after a while from doing that i mean i've tried doing that with my red crucible i have like a massive amount of videos where I do Red Crystal, and you just start. It's 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 obviously a different video every time, but it's a speed commentary of what's going on right in the game as I'm seeing it, and I speak quickly, which they're fun to make. And don't get me wrong, I love doing them. Just after a while, it's like you can only talk about so much tacos or like talking silly voices so many times before you're like, I want to do something else, and that's where a lot of my subscriber base was from I was getting tons of views I was getting tons of views for my subscriber base to view ratio for my small channel and I was I was pretty shocked by how I was getting 
more views than I what had subscribers so that's where my it came from so I understand that you know it does it doesn't work you know if you want to be big but if you want to do this just for fun like me I just do this as a hobby I don't really I don't really I mean for sure people seeing my content is the point of creating content but it's just kind of fun for me so also I have down here the procrastination is the devil yes if you just waste time like oh I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it the next day and the next day you never get it done and you just feel like man I haven't got anything done and I wasted the last three days saying I'm gonna get some work done but then I don't get it done and then it's just this whole succession of like oh well I didn't have to do it that couple days because no one's gonna watch it and then you just start getting to the self-hate sort of like oh well no one's gonna watch it so I'll just get it done tomorrow or no one's gonna watch it so I just won't make that video that's terrible I personally think that you should create some form of say a schedule like I've been trying to do obviously I haven't been working too well because I was on vacation and I had some stuff I had to take care of but yeah I mean just making a like some schedule saying I'm posting this day at this time and it's gonna be this type of video personally for me it was really helpful because it's just like oh I know what I'm gonna do I know how I'm gonna make it and I know and I know I have the time to make it so I'm gonna do it right now because if I don't then I'm gonna mess everything up and then the rest of my week's gonna be messed up and I'd rather go nose to the grindstone now for say an hour two hours three hours however long it takes to make that video instead of going nose to the grindstone on Friday, having to take it 10 hours because I have to make multiple videos and maybe the cut doesn't work, maybe things maybe things don't go as well as I planned and then it takes even longer and then I wasted my entire day and I could have gotten stuff done. And my final point for is to plan for success. And I, I bring this up just because it's something that uh, my coaches would say is, all right, so you have like a move, like I do wrestling and I do judo. And my coach would always say, you always put in the effort, always, 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 assuming that it's going to work. Doing a move, knowing it's going to work, and if it doesn't work, then you fix it. Because if you go in not expecting it to work, and you, you, you mess up, you mess up and you don't know how you messed up, and this is obviously talking about the moves, but if obviously you make a video and you mess up and it becomes super viral, or you make a video and it me and you mess up and you don't know how you messed it up and it didn't work out well, well, where do you fix it at? So I recommend always knowing it's gonna work like this. This is how I'm gonna make it work as well as I can. And since I'm putting the time in, might as well put the effort in to max out that ratio. So guys, this is just kind of like my own personal stuff. I kind of need to make this video more for myself just because I've been working a lot with like, gotta stay motivated. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And as always, have an absolutely wonderful day. All I know was that just need a. All I know was you just need a. All I know was we just need a. All I know was you just need a. <laughs> Uh-oh.